Good evening, and thank you for staying up late with us here tonight. I'm Caitlin Stansel. Uh, Michael Maley. We just finished, of course, watching the Panthers Saints game. There was another game, though, going on tonight. The first home Thursday night football game in Coastal Carolina's history. WMBF News reporter Eric Trapagan was with many people in the CCU community who were excited about the changes and the success in coastal sports that are, is happening right now. CCU! Interns with the football team took recruits around campus before the game today. They had plenty to brag about. All of our sports teams have moved up in the Sun Belt and already have pretty good success. As a, the football staff, we're just excited and we can't wait to move up in the Sun Belt and see what we can do against better and bigger components. So, The entire CCU sports community is full of life this fall. <laughs> Next season, CCU football will see more weeknight football games when they start competing in the Sun Belt Conference. It's going to be tremendous because moving up into this new conference and whatnot, we'll be having new competition. We're going to get a bigger stadium. We're going to have um, a lot of new recruitment and whatnot. So I think that getting that bigger program is going to really raise our enrollment and really get us a lot better recruits throughout the United States. A lot of this excitement is spilling over from this past spring when CCU baseball won the College World Series. On this historic night of football, the baseball team was honored during halftime. My dad played baseball here. He's a Coastal Carolina alumni. So the College World Series in our house is huge anyway, so then when Coastal made it and like my mom played softball here and that's how they met, it was literally like they were in tears. They were like so happy and like it was like the best day of their lives. There's not a tradition of Thursday night football at CCU, but that hasn't stopped students and alumni from coming out this Thursday and doing some tailgating. In fact, it may have encouraged it as students, alumni, faculty, everyone in the CCU community has come out, taken some time away from their weekly schedule, celebrate some Thursday night CCU football. Got a little flame up up in the energy has spread through the CCU community like wildfire. Like to this man whose wife went to CCU. He created the van of every tailgater's dream, complete with widescreens, speakers, and covered in coastal graphics. So we started looking for this van six months ago, and one of our local dealers found it for us, and uh, we've had a lot of local input into the van and getting it wrapped and, and uh, getting it fixed up, and, and we love it. We just think it just adds another another layer to our, our Coastal Carolina tailgating. Next year, CCU football is going to be competing in the Sun Belt, and they'll be College Bowl eligible. From students to alumni, people throughout CCU are excited about the future of CCU sports. Reporting at Coastal Carolina University, I'm Eric Trapagan, WMBF News.